You can't install WordPress on your laptop, you need a web server. But Bitnami is a ready-made solution that allows you to do this. So I'm going to install the Bitnami WordPress local installer. So I look down here, it's downloading here. wait for it to finish now it's finished downloading if you have any problems downloading right click and choose open in a new tab and that should um, enable you to download it show downloads but today I've downloaded Bitnami WordPress Windows installer I'm going to click that it's asking me for a password now you'll have to put in your Windows password to uh, to enable Windows to install the software and then it will install it itself choose the language I want English okay now with this I've installed this before and I just click yes and it installs OK. Depending on which antivirus system you're using it might or might not work. You might or might not have to go to this link to find out more. But on my system it usually works. I'm just going to click yes and all we really need to do now is click next 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 as it sets itself up. So I can click next and I click, click next. I don't think you'd really need your real name. We'll just put in a name there. I'm going to put Philip in. Now this, I'm not going to use the email address. So I'm going to leave it as user at example.com. And it's not a good idea to log in as user on a live site on this one because it's inside our computer. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'll change it to Philip anyway. And then we need a password. So it's always a good idea to have a password, and I, I like fairly good passwords. So, use an M and a password. Next. This is just the, the name of the WordPress installation, and you can change that whenever you want to. Next. Right, so I don't want to send notifications via email. I'm going to click Next. This is just going to give us some adverts while we're waiting so click next now these are just adverts so you can ignore them I'm going to turn them off ready to install and we're installing installing on your computer will take longer than this I edited the video so you didn't have to sit and watch right so now it's finished and it's going to launch Bitnami when we click the finish button. Windows might ask permission to launch Bitnami. If it does, type in your Windows password. And now we can access WordPress. That's the blog. And to log in, you can click this log login link or we can type WP admin press enter <coughs> but now username and password press enter and there's our WordPress log out Chrome and this is the the start and stop screen for Bitnami to close Bitnami I choose manage servers then stop all then I click the close button I've logged back into WordPress because I want to remove some plugins pages posts and widgets that were automatically installed by Bitnami 
Now I go to Plugins, Installed Plugins. I don't want these plugins that they've automatically installed, so I'm going to delete all of them. Book Actions, Deactivate. I think they're all like deactivated anyway, but I'll deactivate them just in case. And then Bulk Actions, Delete. I'm going to delete all of those plugins. It's telling us it's going to delete them. Yes, I want to delete them. If you see a blank screen like this, just click the refresh button and it's deleted all the plugins. So, visit our site. We've got a basic website. While we're here, what I'm going to do, in order to install the Studio Press themes, I want to delete the post. Delete permanently. I'm going to delete the page. Add to the trash. Then delete it from the trash. And I'm going to go appearance, widgets, and in the sidebar, I'm going to delete everything from the all of the widgets from the sidebar. Now I've got a completely empty site, so I can log out. And I can close down my server. Stop all. All I need to do now is click the little red close button.